voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. The smell of rot assaults your senses as the illusion vanishes. The murderous gaze of a red cap, a creature known for its bloodlust, greets you. He seems unaware that his illusion has failed. find their sister. Whoever did this wanted them to suffer. We need to be careful. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the uh, aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Today, the same as you. A humble supplicant, come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it, to bargain. A more innocent name than some I could call her, but it is what she is that ought to concern you. Her kind have hidden among us since the first darkness, and their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price, A powerful friend, a terrible foe. That, I cannot decide for you. For my part, I need her knowledge. The thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to flush him out, I'll pay whatever price she asks. Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarion. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? Ah, well. If you had, I could not fault you for lying. His kind have charm beyond our mortal means to resist. But best to take one terror at a time, hmm? I've used enough of your time. The lady awaits.
fresh, sweet-smelling water gurgles gently below. Fresh, sweet-smelling water gurgles gently below. The warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. You'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Don't bother. You'd only subject us to her inevitable wailing. What is it? What's going on? just have one of those faces, Marina. So bland and forgettable. Smart move, sweetness. Now, I can tell you're in dire need of help, Petal. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Because you stink. And I know the stench of Mind Flayer anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? My, I do like them eager. But know that I don't work for free. I expect payment up front. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Ah, not many know that spell. You're close, but not quite right. Your eyeball is staying in your head. Although it would look delightful on a necklace. I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Glorious. One moment. And she needs her real nails for this. That human skin is fierce restrictive. <laughs> the 
Thank you, Petal. It is so lovely to be appreciated. Magic is the lifeblood of hags. And I'm one of the best. Now choose which I will it be, right or left. Hold on to your knickers. This might sting a bit. suits you. Now, unless you want tentacles for a tongue, stay absolutely still. I've removed one of these buggers before, but it's a touch tricky. The parasite squirms at the hag's words. Pain builds behind your eye. You feel the creature writhe as it's dragged towards your ear. Then, it bites back, burrowing even deeper into your brain. Ah! God's damned wretched! Ah! You little shit! You didn't tell me it was netheries! I'm not touching that! Filthy shadow magic brings nothing but chains and misery! How could I have missed that stink? Blood and piss congealing on my tongue. Ah, someone's tampered with your parasite. That's likely why you've not turned yet. Bless us. You're as slow as a wet week. That thing has been touched by more than mind flayers. You're a dead soul walking. I can't help you. What about it? I held up my end of the bargain. It's not my fault the Riglet's tainted by shadow magic. I want nothing to do with you or that scum in your brain. I'd kill you for that. But why deny your Riglet the pleasure? But let it not be said that Auntie Ethel doesn't honor her debts. Here, it's on you to fix yourself. Now get out! Come now, Marina. Time to go. Bye bye, lovelies. Where is she gone, I wonder? little eye of yours is mine. Did you think you could sneak down here without my say-so? This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? 
leave. Or you'll end up in tonight's stew. You'll go nicely with Mayrina. She's already marinating. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me. Dead. Dead! Flesh rotten, bone shining! No. Future. Bone splitting. Knife twisting, skull screaming, future! Gods, don't hurt me! Oh, please, 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 please! Ah! No! Stop! Trick, trick, trick! They're the monster! Monster! The mind dripping, flesh peeling, mind flayer! No, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> stop, stop, I can stop. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet, gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, removing limb by painstaking limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee. You feel it cry. Frustrated, the door rattled. You see the hag and yourself. You lay bleeding as she leans over you, a smile on her face. Her teeth, a row of deadly needles, shine as they dive into your throat, blood spraying. The door twitches, but stays firm. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. You see the hag. She walks through the door its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Look, you don't! Stop, 
Feel the barest hint of life from within the door. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee, as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Don't look. Don't!
little insect! I'm going to rip out your spine! You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! This... and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic, even! More than I could have done. Well, I didn't bloody ask you, did I? I didn't ask for any of this. I just wanted Connor back. Now I have to drag his guts back home. Coffin and all, because a goddamn grave is the closest I'll get to seeing him again. I hope you're happy. I'd say the swamp is a breath of fresh air compared to the hag, but...
Schatz! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? But oh, this isn't what she promised! I wanted him back, back the way he was, not this. No! Don't put him in the ground. He was... He is afraid of the dark. I'll do it. I'll take him. Maybe, maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. I'll, I'll figure something out. Come on, love. Let's, let's go. So, uh, that didn't work out the way you imagined, did it? Given the results, I'm not so sure. But let's sleep in one's lie, yeah? I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. You'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. I don't think I did, dearie. 
And frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Don't bother. You'd only subject us to her inevitable wailing. What is it? What's going on? That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. You monster! The deal is off! Enough! Away would you. Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. <laughs> <laughs>